Hi guys, what's up? It's Bia. So everyone knows that AliExpress is filled to the brim with stolen artwork, right? If you're shopping on AliExpress and you see something that has any sort of image on it, it's somewhat likely that the artwork is stolen. But how does this happen? And what can you, as an artist, do about it? As far as I can tell, there are two ways that art and designs get stolen by distributors on AliExpress. The first way is that you worked with a manufacturer who went behind your back to distribute your designs for extra profit. This happened with me when I designed the Woodland Creatures Joy-Con stick caps. My manufacturer took my original design and, without my permission, started selling the items that I had created with them to other companies, and then those companies would sell them to individuals on AliExpress. The second way this happens is that someone at their company straight up lifts your design without ever interacting with you. Your art can be downloaded and directly used to make an item, or even traced and slightly altered. This is particularly malicious because while you can try to vet every manufacturer you choose to work with to make sure they won't redistribute your work, there is little you can do in advance to stop your artwork from being traced and distributed. So if this has happened to you, you may be wondering, what are your rights as an artist? Immediately, a lot of people might despair because they never officially filed for copyright and they may think that they don't own the rights to the work, so there's nothing they can do. This, however, is not true. In the United States, you are the owner of the copyright to all of your original works by default, even if you haven't filed for it and you don't have a registration number. This is copyright law in the US and AliExpress and other websites like it do have to comply when you tell them to take down your work. All right, so how do you actually get them to remove your artwork? You might be worried that this is an unapproachably impossible legal process, but this really isn't the case. It can be a little complicated, but it is doable for the average person. You don't need to consult a lawyer in many cases. Essentially, what you need to do is create an account on the intellectual property protection page of Alibaba. If you use Alibaba or AliExpress, this is a different account from either of those. You verify your identity, wait for confirmation, and submit what is called your IPR, or intellectual property registration. This is the part where you show that the work is yours. If you don't have a registration number for this part, it's no problem. You can write that registration is not required in your country. You also need to wait for this to be verified, but once it is, you are free to submit complaints against sellers on AliExpress. I believe these sellers do experience consequences if they are found repeatedly infringing on copyright, so it is taken very seriously. Every listing I reported did get taken down, and although sometimes sellers would make a new listing, I would just report those too. At this point, I feel that the issue is pretty much resolved. I look online to see if my items are being distributed anywhere, and I very rarely see this happening anymore because I went through this process. I'm leaving a few links in the description of blog posts that I looked at that had step-by-step -step instructions on how to make one of these accounts and submit complaints. They are super helpful, especially since some parts of the process have text entirely in Chinese that you might not understand. I hope this has been helpful and informative. Let me know in the comments what steps are you taking to protect your art, and have you ever had your artwork stolen? Thank you for watching, please subscribe, and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Tinkalila. See you next time, bye!